lovely humans, my name is Lindsay Whitfield and today is not Thanksgiving, which means it's officially the Christmas season. So don your Santa hats and get ready because this is the Christmas festive haul on my channel. Okay, we're going to jump right into this because I bought way too much crap this time. That's going to bug me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the first thing I got was a couple of things for Dolly and Daisy, um, just because I didn't want to make them wait until Christmas to eat these, so I got these at PetSmart. I think they're adorable, and the girls really like them. Uh, they're not super great for them, so they don't get them all the time, um, but they're going to get their little treats, and I'm going to give them to them right after I film this. The rest of the stuff that I bought is from three stores. Bath and Body Works, Hobby Lobby, and Marshalls. And by Marshalls, I mean I bought two things from Marshalls, so that's going to take just a second. But I bought a ton of crap from the other two, and it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to try to like go through these quickly so this video isn't 50 years long. Let's start with Bath & Body Works. I bought nine candles. First one that I bought, and I did buy two of these because I really love them, is Spice Apple Toddy. Um... And it's got a cute little reindeer on the front. This is like the Christmas equivalent, I think, of leaves. It's very apple-y, very cinnamon. Um, what does it say? Made with cinnamon and clove essential oils and notes of apple brandy. So it smells like apple pie and spice. And it makes me very, very happy. Um, so I bought two because last season when leaves sold out I could not get another one so I was not about to risk that with this this one is solely because I wanted to make Megan proud so Meg I know you will watch this um, I bought a Mazel Tov candle are you proud of me are you proud of me uh, this one smells so good it's a vanilla snowflake scent um, so it's creamy vanilla iced fur wind treatment and coconut flakes and it smells amazing and it's very cute so this is my shout out to Megan and Meg whenever I miss you so all the time I will burn this and think of you so there's a couple of these that are the dear Santa ones um, the first one is dear Santa define naughty and it is a spice scent that's literally what it says can you all see that you can't cool oh there you can spice um, and it says fragrant notes are red cinnamon sticks, Christmas clove buds, and a pinch of cardamom. And this smells like big red gum. Um, I did buy two of these, but one is for my mom for Christmas. And when I rolled in with a giant Bath and Body Works bag, she was like, what'd you buy? What'd you buy? So she got hers early. I really like this. I feel like it's not sweet. It's very spicy. I enjoy it. Uh, it does smell like big red gum. So, there. <laughs> okay, the next one is Dear Santa, I Blame the Eggnog, um, which is uh, butter rum eggnog scented. So it's spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. And that's, a, it, like, it smells like eggnog. There's no other way to put it. It just smells like delicious eggnog. Last Dear Santa candle is Dear Santa, Enjoy the Milk and Cookies. And I love this. I try not to get sweet scents uh, until Christmas because Christmas is when my family does most of their baking. So we got this one. And this is, what are you? Um, it's Merry Cookie Scented. So it's fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar, and rich vanilla. And it's so good. It's so good. I'm excited to, to burn this because I don't want this to be too sickly sweet when I burn it. I hope it won't be. I don't really know. Okay. And then in the effort of sickly sweet, I also bought Vanilla Bean Noel. And this was a selfish reason. This matches my room really well. So um, I wanted the packaging. But this is um, Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Fluff and Vanilla Cake. And it is exactly as sweet as you think it is. Um, so Hopefully it won't be too bad when I burn it. Sometimes I feel like sweet candles aren't that strong when you burn them. Fixing that. But hopefully these aren't overwhelming. Then I got, oh my god, this is, is this a sweet can one too? Yes. It's not that sweet. So I got the Better Not Pout candle, which is hollow. 
look at it. It's linear, hollow, hollow sexuals out there. Anyone want Simply Neological? Just me, cool. And this is spiced gingerbread. It's so, the fragrant notes are spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. And it smells amazing. I love it. There's that, and then the last one is Frosted Cranberry. It's also in that same style of packaging as the Spiced Apple Toddy candles. Um, and I really loved this scent um, because it's not like any of the other ones that I had. So made with notes of iced cranberries and orange essential oil. So it's very Christmassy, cranberry and orange. It's just fantastic. And I got this one. I think I'm gonna put this one um, in the kitchen. I don't know why, I just feel like this is a kitchen scent. Not only am I gonna tell you the candles I bought, I'm gonna tell you where to put them. Also in that scent, um, I have double sinks in my bathroom, so I got two of the Frosted Cranberry hand soaps um, because they smell really, really good. And these are the foaming hand soaps. So, just to stay clean this holiday season. And look, it's got cute little plaid on the side. Love it. I got a couple more things from Bath and Body Works um, and they are hand sanitizers. I just realized that this one was slay and has a dancing Santa on the front. I don't even really know what it is. I'm just really happy about it. Um, this is the Tis the Season one. And it's fantastic. Um, I also got the Vanilla Bean Noel with a cute little snowman on it. Um, iced gingerbread, which is precious. Look at it, it's a penguin! Uh, this is Twisted Peppermint, which is not my favorite scent. Um, I used to really like it, and now it kind of is meh. But it had a penguin on it, so I had to buy it. Decisions. Um, and then the last one is Mary Berry Kiss, and I am a huge fan of the Great British Bake Off, so I was like, ah, Mary Berry! Yay! This one is really, it's, I feel like it's Christmassy, but it's not. Like, it's pretty seasonally neutral. We're gonna make that a term now. So, yeah. Um, I also got a couple of these. Um, I got these when these were on sale and they were $3 for the big bottles. So, uh, this is the Ginger and Cardamom Body Wash with Olive Oil. And it is fantastic. It smells like Christmas. It's just very spicy. Um, so I got this for my mom. Told you she likes spicy scents and she's been instructed not to watch this video. I also got one more of these. Uh, it's the almond and vanilla and you can probably guess that this is for me. I love almond scents um, and it smells so good you guys. It smells so so good so I'm really happy about it. That is the end of what I bought at Bath and Body Works. So let's jump into Hobby Lobby. First thing I bought is this guy. Look at it. I feel like look how cute it will be with my bedding and stuff so he's gonna live over there and he has a friend I got two look at them they're just so crap they're, they were cute and they were half off so I spent seven dollars on both of these uh, and I really love them uh, and I think they match really really well and they're very festive so they will live in my room this holiday season I bought holiday non uh which are sprinkles I don't know why they want to be fancy and say non as a sprinkle um, like I said, my family does a lot of baking during the holiday season, so I got these. They're closed, I was gonna say. I don't know if these have a shaker on them. They do not, PSA. And both of my sisters watch my channel, so when we do Christmas cookie decorating this year, got you. I bought some scarves. These were $6 a piece, and I thought they were cute. And they're very festive and they say the Christmas shop on them so I bought this one and then I bought this one I'm not a huge scarf person but these were just really very cute and I could not leave them behind they may wind up being someone's Christmas present honestly um, because I don't really know when I'm gonna wear them but I got very excited about them while I was in the store so they had to go home I bought some more towels um, I got this one because it's cute and it's got little donkeys all over it and it just made me happy Look at them. And they look like the dog from the Grinch. Um, what's his name? Max! Max! Um, oh, Max! So, I got this one. And then I got a couple of just like basic festive ones. Uh, they're just cotton towels. There's a lot of plaid in this video so far. 
Um, and then I got this for my mom. Um, this is a, a tea towel in here and then a pot holder that's Christmas themed. She does not have to wait until Christmas to have that because I know, like, if I give it to her on Christmas Day, she's going to be like, great, I'm going to put it up for a year. Like, so I'm going to go to her early. I also bought this for my mom. Uh, red and green are her favorite colors, so Christmas is kind of her deal. Um, and this is a double-sided red and green drying mat. And she has a red one. Um, and our kitchen has red and green. So I just got her this because I thought she would enjoy it. Um, especially during holiday cooking when not everything fits in the dishwasher. So she washes some stuff by hand because she's crazy. Uh, so mom this is a wine stopper um with a little red bow on it because i drink a lot of wine during the holiday season and sometimes i can't always finish a bottle because i have to work the next day and when i have to work the next day i should probably not so i have a thing to save my leftover wine i bought this for my desk at work um, my desk is blue and white and it's actually gold but I really liked this, so I didn't care. Um, and it says, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And this will go on my windowsill in my office. Um, and I really like it. I love anything that glitters. And for the record, everything in my room right now is covered in glitter. And there's no stopping it. It's a monumental force. Um, <laughs> and the next round of things is why. So I got a bunch of these little things for my mom um, to put in garlands because she likes to decorate with those and then I got her three of these little present things they've got little um, like flower foam hooks on the bottom and then I got her these red and gold poinsettias um, for her kitchen and for the garland in the living room so I got a bunch of these and they are staying in their bag because they are getting glitter everywhere I bought a lot of Christmas mugs I don't know why I just did and I didn't realize it until I started lining things up to show you guys in this haul video there are six I don't know why um, apparently I want one for every week up until Christmas I don't really I, I have no explanation um, so the first one that I have uh, the first two are actually from Marshall's and this one is uh, Portobello by design a fine bone China fancy um, but look, it's got little reindeer and sweaters and scarves, and I thought it was precious, and it's blue. And then I got this one, also from Marshalls. Uh, this is for my desk at work as well, and it's blue, and it's just got little raised snowflakes on it. Um, everyone at my office is really big tea drinkers, not coffee, tea, um, and I am the same. So I am going to have my English breakfast tea in this. I didn't really realize that I bought a couple of strangely shaped mugs. Sorry, you can see Daisy's tours are just like everywhere. Um, what can you do? Uh, so I bought two. I bought this one that says baby is cold outside. And then I bought this one that is just cute. I also bought this one. It's that red and black plaid pattern that you see everywhere. And this is one of my favorite patterns. Um, I have it everywhere, uh, kind of from the start of autumn till the end of winter. So I got this to use all the way through even past Christmas. And then my younger sister, I had a favorite tea mug and she I don't know if she lost it or she broke it. The mystery will never be solved. So I bought another one that has my initial on it because she didn't realize it was mine. And now she can't say that unless her name is Layla. So <laughs> I replaced my mug. So the next little section is all stuff from Kylie Cosmetics that I got as um, presents from my cousin because they're colors that she either doesn't really wear or things that she had duplicates of. So thanks twin. Love you made it. Um, the first one is the lip color I have on, um, and it is the Kylie Lip Kit in Mary, and it's this beautiful kind of burnt red. I have like, I basically had a spot and I scratched it and now I have a scab on my face so it's covered in concealer, sorry. Um, but I did get this little lip kit in Mary and it looks like an ornament and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, I also got another red from her because she knows my red lipstick obsession. This is the Kylie Gloss in Naughty. And I will swatch this for you. So this is the gloss in Naughty. And it's a beautiful red. 
so I will be using this throughout the season. The other one that she got me is a little matte liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Angel. I am not going to swatch this because it is like precious liquid. I cannot find this as, as a full size so I have to hold on to the mini um, and I love this color. Every time she wears this lipstick I'm like what color is that? So she finally gave me one. I'm really excited about it. Um, she also gave me one of the Kai Shadow pots and this is in Golden Plum. You know we gotta swatch it. Oh, it's really pretty. And it's like a burnt, like it's almost brown on my skin tone, but it's definitely got a purple undertone that you can't really see on camera, but it's there. So I also bought this little palette. This is the Becca Eye Lights palette in the Après Geek Glow collection. I love the packaging for this. I think it's so freaking pretty and it's huge. Like guys, it's basically the size of my face. Um, it has a massive mirror. Can you see this? Look at it. Look at it. Um, and then the actual shades themselves are all the highlighter shades plus two darker ones. So the shades are Pearl, Moonstone, Opal. Uh, this is Topaz. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Hot Cocoa, and Rose Quartz. It's a lot of great highlighter shades and I just really loved the packaging and couldn't leave it. And then I got one more thing, um, and it is the Sephora Skincare Gloves. This is the avocado flavor. Sure. Um, it's a hand mask. During the winter, your hands can get so, so dry, so I wanted to get these to kind of lock in and retain moisture, make sure my hands weren't feeling disgusting by the end of the season. And um, you just leave these on 15 minutes. Um, these are just fantastic if you're like watching a movie and you're done. Um, so yeah. Okay. That was it. I don't know how long this took to film. It, it didn't feel like that long, but there was a lot of stuff. So I talked to you through everything very quickly. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what products you have to get you in the festive mood for the Christmas season. Um, and what, you know, traditions your family has. If you do new pajamas every year, um, if you do new cozy socks every year, my family does that. I have a stash of cozy socks, um, but I'm not putting them in there because I don't want anyone to see their cozy socks before they get them. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure before you leave, you hit the YouTube trifecta that like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love y'all, meet it. Bye. I bought the kid's hat. Damn it. <laughs> um, it smells so good. It's called a little bad. Hey, there's glitter everywhere. I did not realize how much stuff this was until I laid it all out. Um, so I got a couple more things from Bed Bath & Bad & Chip. Then I bought this one. I love red and black plaid. I think it's so fun and I love it through the <sighs> bought at Bath & Bed Bath & what is it? Fuck. I also bought this one. It's the red and black plaid pattern. Plaid? 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 And it is exactly as you, as, <laughs> I got a couple more things from Bath and Body Works. That sounds weird. Again. Oh wait, no, I'm not done. I was going to say I'm almost done. I'm not. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, that's not how my outro goes. <laughs> uh, the last. Blah, 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 ha, ha, hoo, ha. <laughs> the Santa hat is very hot. What is on my head? Red fuzzies from the Santa hat. Cool. Hat hair. <laughs>